In Atlantic Canada, tens of thousands of people remain without power tonight in the wake of Hurricane Arthur. At its peak, a quarter million customers didn't have electricity. And even after 48 hours of repair work, 88,000 homes and businesses remain in the dark in New Brunswick. Another 25,000 are without power in Nova Scotia. Ross Lord has more on the widespread damage from this storm. Progress is slow as power crews work to get the juice flowing again in the Maritimes. An infuriating wait for tens of thousands of residents. Elaine Camuzzi lives by herself in this remote cottage in Nova Scotia. She's living on bottled water and takeout food until the lights come back on. I'm just devastated. She's also lost running water and phone service, cutting her off from the outside world. I've lost communication and I'm alone here and I'm not very happy about it. I, I don't have anyone to come around or help me. And also uh, our fridge, the food, water, um, just everything has been erupted. The most frustrating part for many are the estimates for full power restoration. Initially, everyone was supposed to be back online by today. Now, those estimates are sliding backwards, some until later in the week. The union at Nova Scotia Power blames cutbacks. It says the number of line workers has shrunk almost in half since the utility was privatized in the 1990s. But the power corporation, which has called in private contractors to help, insists it's still up to the job. We're very confident uh, in the, in the uh, overall crew com complement that we have. Uh, it's the extent of the damage that is taking time, despite the resources that we have. Arthur packed winds well over 100 kilometers an hour, snapping heavily leafed trees like matchsticks. This from a storm that had weakened from hurricane status. Normally when the hurricanes come up, you can prepare for it. But when I heard it was post-tropical storm, I thought that's no big deal. Then this is probably worse damage than any hurricane for a few years. In New Brunswick, there was up to 140 millimeters of rain, flooding streets and creating this sinkhole where three trailers and a car were swallowed up. At least no one was injured. The roots actually broke apart. It wasn't because roots were cut, they actually broke. And that is quite unusual. Cleaning up the debris is the easy part. More troublesome are these makeshift arrangements that suddenly don't feel so temporary. No. Ross Lore, Global News, Lower Cornwall, Nova Scotia.